Lord and Trike and Gods and Winter take it away boys. Thank you very much Hype. Yeah, and thank you very much. So for th this could be the last game of the night. Yeah, so, so before that, let's give a round of applause for Winter and Gods for coming here yeah, so in the Philippines yeah, so and witness this event for us. What the, uh, how are you guys? What can you say on this event? What can you say? What can you say about it's, the event? It's a huge step up from last year. It's really been amazing being here. It's been more fun than anything. This has been one of the best holidays as well as work trips I've ever taken. I, it's, it's just so much fun in the Philippines. Oh, yeah. right. How about you? Thank you, thank you. You got your kiss <laughs> from Mount Fuji. <laughs> what can the Macho Man 2013 say? Say uh, Grand Finals Macho Man. Yeah, big shout out to Mineski and Gigabyte for allowing me to have this wonderful opportunity to to witness Mount Fuji. <laughs> 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 all right, so we are all witnesses. We are all witnesses. So thank yeah. you very so, much. So, um, by the way, uh, Gods in Winter, what do you think about this game? Yes. Um, even though Mineski have a one-zero advantage, I feel like it's fifty-fifty. I think Titan uh, just got such experienced players, so. I think it's going to be a really tough battle line. I think Titan will probably win the first game and the second bat game. Very close. How about you, Winter? How about you, Winter? I think it's always really tough to go against Minesky, especially in home ground P in PH. And I personally have the experience of going up against Minesky in a packed hall with all the Pinoy fans. So it's going to be really difficult for Titan to win here, I feel. Okay, right, thank, right, thank you very Again, much. Again, Winter oh. and Gods. Let's thank you very much. A round of applause. Alright, so, Trike. Sa atin naman. Ito na, mga kaibigan. Alam mo, dito mo makikita yung hospitality ng Pinoy, eh, no? Kung oh. so, paano tayo tumanggap ng bisita. Hmm, so, yun nga, sa mga gusto siguro magpa-picture kay Gods, eh, may uh, after, after, na after, oh, after, after ng event. Eh, kasama naman yun sa uh, bilang. So, ano, Trike, Titan AMD Mineski, last game for today, last oh, match. Oh, this can be the last match for the day. Mineski, surprisingly, has the twice to beat advantage. Pero mga kaibigan, hindi mo masasabing lamang sila dito eh. Kasi oh. Titan, as alam natin lahat, is a powerhouse talaga dito sa Dota 2. So At we can't expect na this is just an easy ball game for Mineski. dapat dito, coming into the mindset, if you're from Mineski's side, you want to, ano eh, parang uh, tapusin mo lang. Alright guys, welcome. Winter and myself are now here, live with the Grand Finals. Mineski vs Titan. This is some old blood rivalry yeah. here. They may be called Titan, but it feels like it's still orange. It's still orange versus yeah. Mineski. <laughs> it's it's the the Malaysian powerhouse versus the normally Mineski are the kind of Filipino powerhouse. So definitely right now in Dota 2, these two teams going head to head. It, it it feels like the only way to end this competition. Yeah, and it's once it's not every day we get like a LAN event in PH, and always they're playing on online events. They have really bad ping, 100 ping, 150 ping, 200 ping, and this is finally something. Like a point to prove by the Pinoy teams that under zero ping, they could, they could yeah. beat a strong Southeast Asian team, yeah, especially a team like Titan. The Pinoy teams have definitely gotten a lot of flack at times for their like performances online, but there's definitely a lot of obstacles they've had to overcome. So big land tournament, Mineski really shown up. And just looking at the top four, three of the top four teams, all Pinoy. So as far as the Southeast Asian region's concerned, with Dota 2, the Philippines teams are looking pretty good. Still, they have they can't compete with the Chinese teams or the Western teams yet, but they're doing just as well, if not better, than some of the Singaporean and Malaysian teams. And there will be more, even more Filipino teams coming into Dota 2 next yeah. year. More, more of them will be switching over, so probably there'll be even more competition next year. Yeah, now with the land mode being added to Dota 2, a lot of the, yeah, like you say, the Filipino teams have said it's time to switch over. They can actually have regular tournaments here locally, and it's definitely a scary thought that this is such a big scene here. I mean, just looking at the crowd who showed up today and the passion of the viewers, you get an idea of just how many teams there are, how serious they are. And in a year or two years' time, the Philippines is going to have like five to six teams who are all really good on like a, as far as the Southeast Asian team scene is concerned. Yeah, the, I believe the Filipino teams are somewhat like the Korean teams where they just need a bit more time and they'll be good in the future. They have the perfect environment, a good setup here. There are a lot of opponents that they can scream against each other yeah. and there are always tournaments for them to play. That's so our trophy, the Divine Rapier. Wow. That's a pretty cool trophy. It's okay, that's a, be that's, oh, that's that's a better view of the trophy. <laughs> that's actually really nice. It's the Divine Rapier. That's what our, that's what our two teams here are fighting for as well. $10,000 in prize money, $5,000 to first place, $3,000 to second, and $2,000 to third place. Dreams walking away with that third place prize. 
Well, we're, we're well into the draft, and look at it. It's look like Titan is going for the Rubik plus last shot. These two heroes yeah. has been appearing a lot in the NES, NES tournament, NEST tournament, where teams like VG, they like to use. It's either Shadow Demon, Lash Rock, or Rubik, Lash Rock. They're doing this combination all the time. Look at these bands too. Both these teams doing their homework. The Naga Siren, which destroyed Titan in their earlier game against Maneski, banned out. Timbersaw, Jesse Vash, one of his big heroes, banned out. As for Maneski, they ban out the Chen and the Visage. Both bands targeted Extinct. They say, you're not having either of them. Yeah, it's just like what the panel said. If Mineski don't ban the Visage, they're going to regret it. Yeah. We get an Invoker though. No, Joven has been playing a bit of Invoker, normally going for the Quas Wex. We'll see if that's going to be the case again here. I, I think Quas Wex has to be... It's good against push strats. Has to be chosen in a very yeah. specific situation. Like you can always hold on to your skill sets and depending on the situation of the game and the draft and adjust accordingly. And I believe that most of the situations, Exhort build is the much preferred build. The much preferred build because it gives your team so much more damage, the Forge Spirits. Yeah. Invoke has two spells at level one now. You don't really need to have a level two Invoke. It speeds up your double Forge Spirits. And not to mention they have Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden can set up for the Sunstrike with the Frostbite. These three here is all very squishy as well, like Sunstrike and just like media type play. Even Ford Spirits can be really great against all three of these heroes. So Yeah, Rubik is one of those supporters. If you are facing up against oh. a Use Scepter Invoker, Exhort Invoker, use you, he use you and you're just dead. Sunstrike, yeah. Meteor and Deafening Blast, you can't well, do anything. Back in the Dota 1 days, like Mineski, they've got some big Invoker players. Both Jay, Bimboker, as well as Joven, known for their Invoker play. I don't think Jay will be playing since he's transitioned no. into a more... Wait, well, the no. last game he wasn't was the Jules. support. They, they 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 put they put the feeder onto the support role. <laughs> they said Jules, you're feeding too much. You're you're on support. You're now. demoted. Yeah, you're, you're taking a pay cut. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hopefully not a pay cut. Hopefully he still gets his share if they win here. But Jules has not had a good tournament. He's definitely been one of the weak links of Mineski. Yeah, but he still has lots of fans supporting him at the event, and they're yeah. definitely looking forward to him having a, at least one or two good games to yeah. have a good closure in, for this event. I feel like Jules and Joven have the two most fans of any of the, the players here. Like, there's people chanting Jules' names as well there's, as Joven. There's one more, Santino. Yeah, well, for, for Do the Dota 1 fans, yeah. Santino is just insane. That guy is... Oh. Like you said, Mushi plus Dandy yeah. combined. If they somehow, like, combined, had a... Like an artificial birth child, San that would be Santino. He's also like 13 years old, so that's also part of it. But that yeah. guy, just watching him play Dota 1, like it's been a while since I've watched or played Dota 1, but you can just tell this guy's got insane skill. Yeah, his reaction time and mechanics are superb. Well, he'll be switching over to Dota. He'll be one of the players and teams switching over to Dota 2 next year, most likely. So maybe we'll see more of him. Definitely needs to control the aggression at times. But for now, clockwork. Well, clockwork. Mineski picks up the yeah. clockwork. Probably is Jesse definitely, Bash. Yeah, definitely really good pickup against an HS Prophet. Yeah. And Rubik, Lash Rock, these two heroes are so vulnerable to clockwork. Especially if the clockwork goes for the every, what everyone does right now. Max the battery assault instead of your rocket there. You're just going even at the off lane, you get level six. You have three levels yeah. in battery assault. You're able to pick off all those supports easily. And yeah, probably Jesse Vash here. He's been one of the kind of standout players. He's definitely the most consistent. He has not had a bad game. He's really, I like him on this team because all the other players like are flashy. They need their farm, but Jesse Vash will, he goes without the farm. He, he's the responsible player. Yeah, exactly. He's the guy you're seeing at the bar. Keeps, Everyone wants to take keeps, a few more shots. He keeps their shits together. Yeah, like J there's Jay, Jules and, and Joven saying, guys, we'll just take a couple more tequila shots. And Jesse's like, hold on a second. I think we've already had a few too many. <laughs> Yeah, he's the responsible gamer yeah. in the team. Well, Titan pick up the Nature's well, Prophet. They ban out the Undying. They sense oh. something is coming. The Shen it does pair up well with the CM, but I'm surprised by that. Undying plus Weaver, you have bugs on you, you have zombies yeah. on you. Okay. Mm. As for Titan though, I, this is like a fairly... Sen like when we sort of mentioned they kind of draft still someone in the 6.78 phase, but... I feel it, like the Luna is definitely a bit stronger. The Rubik Leshrac seems to be like a resurging thing as well. But yeah, I, I feel like even though it, they can draft like the old patch, like... Ooh. I like this draft as well. Nice the Nice Soccer, soccer, Luna. Nice soccer yeah. plus Luna plus Prophet. This is a really good yeah. lineup for the current patch. And I think it's more of the playstyle that they are using is the old playstyle where they, do, they don't focus farm on the supports. Like like you mentioned the last game, it was like the first time you saw Axting got a Midas on his CM. Like, they're learning. Yeah, they're like, bit by bit. They're learning bit by bit and they're going for a night soccer. Probably a higher zero for mid. 
I think KYXY will play the Night Stalker. And Ohio on Luna. Ohio will be Luna. Ice okay. will be on the Nature Spawn Yeah. And the other day when I was with Dignitas, Demon actually built a Midas and Night Stalker, which was... I was questioning it at the start of the game, yeah. but as soon as I finished the game, I was like, wow, that actually worked. Well, so I feel Midas or Night Stalker could be something yeah. really good as if, well. If they want to get greedy here. Mineski have one more pick coming their way. They just need another support here, so... They have three Midas heroes. Oh, eh? maybe the Luna doesn't go, but maybe yeah. the Leshra. Well, Mineski have two. Maybe three if you get one on the Weaver. I don't like the Weaver Midas, but teams do get it every yeah, now and then. Yeah, definitely. Exhort, Invoker, Midas. Crystal Maiden, you get a good start, you get a Midas. Yeah. We get our Midas Gaming coming out. Mineski, one more pick coming there. I think they just want to go something like an Earthshaker here. Get a standard defensive support. Uh, they might go greedy and pick another carry. I, got I guess kid. it... I mean, you've got Jules as well as Jay who are both playing that support role. It's actually Oa and Jules the last game. Jay yeah. was playing the solo mid lifestyle yeah. the last game. Yeah, every now and then we see Jay on the support. Other times it's Jules, so we'll see. I, I think it maybe depends a bit on the heroes, yeah. but... Wow. Disruptor, there's a interesting one. Disruptor is good, good against the Prophet, and yeah, like not bad against like Night Stalker if he goes diving in and you're like if he goes diving in on a teammate, you send them back using the glimpse. So yeah, and he got every single spell that buff the Thunder Strike, yeah, the glimpse, 10 second less cooldown. Thunder Strike deals 160 damage at level yeah. one. The Kinetic Field has better great. AOE, and his ultimate is Scepter Silence yeah. Item. It seems like you're not farming that Aghanim Scepter very often, but yeah, we were, off, we were talking chance. about it. Yeah. It's better off the support disruptor, you get a four star. Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Four star is better in a lot of situations, especially against the Sprout. We'll see the last pick Well, the last pick now going out. The two teams are going to pick up their heroes in. Do you think Titan's draft has what it takes to force this to a game three? Yeah, I think so. I like their draft this game, and it depends on their playstyle as well and their item build. Jules is actually on the Crystal Maiden. Did I Jules. catch it correctly? Yeah, Jules. Yes. Jules CM. So we'll go ahead and introduce the players for right. AMD Mineski on the Radiant side. We have Jules on the Crystal Maiden. Owa on the Support Disruptor. We have Jesse Vash on the Clockwork. Most likely offlane. Jovan on the Weaver. And we have Jay. Jay is playing the Invoker. Okay. Bimboker. We get the Bimboker now. Uh, yeah. He's going to be going for the Quas at the start. It could still be the Exor. Just because he's, he's got the Quas. He has the Blades of Attack. Yeah. Well, oh! over on the Dire side for Titan. Extinct, the captain playing the Leshrac. We're going to see Luna in the hands of Ohio. Net on the Rubik. Solo mid is going to be KYXY on the Night Stalker. And then finally, Ice. He's going safe lane with the Nature's Prophet. They're going to offensive trial lane, it looks like. This is a scary offensive trial lane because the aura gives them a lot of damage. But what are they going to be up against? Oh, this might be... This might be difficult for Mineski though, but I think they could still do like a Crystal Maiden jungling and they could easily deal with the lane with a Disruptor and a Weaver in the lane. They have it's to good. play very safe yeah, they, need, they just need to play safe and Crystal Maiden will be jungling, getting some levels and coming to help later. I I think the CM needs help very early because one lift into a Split Earth, you die. They've got the Sentries for the Weaver. These heroes get plus 14 damage with the Lunar Blessing, so... Yeah, however, I think even if they want to dodge the trial lane, they can try something like having the CM jungle the enemy forest yeah. and she will be in she'll be in position to gang top on or uh, the mid lane. CM clock work easy kill on profit and CM and Nimoko can kill the Night Stalker as well. Well Jesse Vash gonna miss it. He tried to cog the creep wave at top, missed it for the most part, but he's gonna get a 1v1 matchup. Mid lane, Night Stalker versus Invoker. Quas Invoker not the best for last thing, but he has got the blades of attack to help him out. I think it'll be all right for the Night Stalker since Quas yeah. Vex doesn't deal too much damage like you mentioned and the Night Stalker just has to focus on getting last hit with his Void or even his right click and just focus on getting yeah. his farm and levels up so that he can gank later on. Well, very early. See, I'm going to be looking for a pull here in the bottom lane. It is tri lane versus tri lane. I think Mineski do need to be playing this very safe. They need to be careful. Yeah, they have the defensive lane advantage, so... Cool. This is a good start though. That does a lot of damage. CM Nova. New the, Thunderstrike does comes the Weaver. Joven got to be careful. He does not want to commit to this. One lift, he could have died, but yeah. that was smart from Joven. He got think, a bit of harassment back off. I think he, he made the right decision not trying yeah. to go in. If he went in, he may have died. I think he would have died. Luna's Blessing lift. The Shukuchi is stun. such a long cooldown at level 1 as well. That would not have worked out well for him. Yeah, but they did a lot of damage to the support. Hello, Kuria Rubik bottom. Net. This Kuria. There's a Nature's Prophet. Uh, you're always really aware, oh. Prophet plus... Oh, you disconnect. <laughs> it's okay, we got two screens. Yeah. 
Titan, what are they? What are they thinking? <laughs> I love how look at look how he's sitting when he's playing bimbo. Yeah, like that's a, that's comfy for him. Like a boss. That's 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 comfort gaming for. Him. This is the first time ever oh. in the finals. In the Southeast Asian Championship, the mode was WTF. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was WTF mode. <laughs> what? Apparently, the, the mode was hosted with WTF mode. I see. That would have made an interesting final. <laughs> WTF mode? Really? Yeah. I don't think they realized. Like, I think it was after they went in that they realized. Why is my spell not getting a cooldown? <laughs> yeah. Weaver Shikuchi is like, oh, I, it's got another Nova. Another Nova. <laughs> that would have made an interesting first blood. Oh. They should have played that one out. I'm disappointed. Yeah, the Rubik was like, what? Yeah. Didn't I just get hit by a Nova? <laughs> yeah. It's not getting Nova spammed on you. Oh. The Thunderstrike gets spammed on you. Oh, I might have cast two Thunderstrikes on that. That took oh. so much damage. Yeah. yeah. He took... I mean, the Thunderstrike does 160. Just, just kidding. But I don't know. Okay. We're going get, to get ourselves into the remake here. <laughs> That's an interesting way to start, start off the series. What, what, what else is at GMPGL? First, we have dancing. We've got everything here. Yeah, we have uh, basically everything. <laughs> That's how we do in the Philippines winter. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we're going to no, be loading no, it no back what the, the game fuck too. mode anymore. Maybe. Okay, WTF mode. All random, maybe. <laughs> we can do something else different. We'll see what else is in store. I want to get that guy back on stage host, hosting yeah. some more games. I enjoyed his hosting a lot. Hopefully, Ohio's not too upset with me. <laughs> he doesn't know you are the one who actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah, never, so never mind. We we're backstage, like while during the Dota One final, Winter and I were backstage and just talking to the host and uh, some of the other people back there. And he's like, "Yeah, we've got one more game." This thing. I was like, "You have to get this guy a higher. Get him up on stage." He's a cool guy. He's a sporting guy. God if you look it. at the like the Titan intro, he's like all he's all cocky and stuff, but. Put him next to a girl and he freezes up. <laughs> he was definitely not as comfortable as normal. But I could tell he, he enjoyed it. Oh yeah, he had fun. <laughs> he had a lot of fun, I think. But uh oh, what what's going on? Problems. Yeah. Connection problems. Mm. We seem to be getting them on our computer as well. Did he connect? No problem. Just relax. Yeah, I think they have problems as well. Yeah. Probably yeah. just a small technical issue. I'm not sure. Hopefully we gotta go get the game soon. Going get the girl, soon. yeah. Hopefully get we get the game going soon. You're uh <laughs> Mount Fuji. <laughs> Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji? First? No, 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 we're not we're not going there. Um, we're gonna have you ever been there? No. It's uh, a place I hope to travel to one day. Someday. I'll I'll be there with you. Okay. I'll make sure we You'll give me the we put our BTS flag up there and we have some clockwork hooking onto the mount. Yeah. You, you'll give me the manual of uh, how to climb Mount Fuji. <laughs> uh, I think they might be remaking. Yeah, I think so. We're, we're trying to reconnect them, but maybe a remake coming in a second. I don't know. We have to wait for it to load. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're rejoining now. All good. Yeah, I was talking about the other method they could use, but clearly they're going to just do the tri lane with the CM and the Disruptor plus the Weaver. I think they could still beat the tri lane of, uh, of Titan. It's, I would say, I would actually give the advantage of the laning phase towards, yeah. uh, towards Mineski because they have the defensive position and they have a lot of nuke at the start, they have the Weaver Shukuchi, they have the Disruptor's Thunder Strike. You know what? All these three spells do a lot of damage, and you can be, you can cast it from so far, you don't take any damage in return. The heroes of Titan, Rubik, Lashra, Luna, they spam, they don't spam you basically. Once they leave you, they want to kill you. Well, we'll see uh, what's exactly in store here. I, I think this, yeah, the offensive trial is definitely a scary proposition uh, for, for uh, Mineski. I don't think we'll see any lane switches, as that's like kind of some cheeky. bad faith. Cheeky. cheeky. Definitely cheeky. I'd be, yeah, I don't expect anything like that to go. They may look to position their wards slightly different. We'll see exactly what goes down here. But both teams will be going once again into that trial inverse trial lane. Remember the referee? The the referee the referee yeah. said, "I want a clean game. I yeah. expect a clean game from you guys." Well, uh, hopefully we get a, we may have to get him back out on stage. He's gonna start beating people in the head with that coin of his. There are no low blows. Yeah. 
No low blow. That's definitely switching lanes. Definitely a low blow in my book. <laughs> How's your trip to the Philippines been? Yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed my Jollibee, Mang Inoso. I like yeah. the food here. The food's good. Definitely, definitely one of the highlights there. No, it's not very good for yeah. people who want yeah. to go on a diet. You can't <laughs> stop eating here. It's not the, the healthiest food at times as well, but it's okay. Yeah, I actually tried balut the last time out, but yeah, no thank you, not this time. I had it last time as well. It was I, I didn't mind it, but I don't feel like a, a need to say, oh, I'm going to go get balut again. It was my, the best thing ever. It's more like a... Balut is actually, you could say duck embryo. Or yeah, something. it's a duck embryo. Duck embryo, yeah. It tastes, okay. tastes all right. It was I, just like looking I, at it, it was I like... I didn't like the taste at all and the fact that when you bite it, you sort of feel the... Yeah. You sort of feel the the bear's fur. Uh, not the bear's fur, sorry, the bird's fur. <laughs> and the beak as well. The sharp part of the beak. You can actually bite it. So I didn't really like it. Okay. Well, but, no balut for you But this it's time. actually very healthy. That's what okay. I heard. Well, that, then you need to eat your balut. <laughs> You'll do. <laughs> I got influenced by 1437. He was, he's a professional bear fighter. 1437? Yeah, he's apparently a professional bear fighter. He was giving you some advice when you were in Korea? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, guys, we do have a bit of a delay here. We do, do apologize, but uh, hopefully things can be underway soon. A big thanks to uh, Maneski and Gigabyte, the two main sponsors and hosts for the event. Mineski donating all the proceeds from uh, the live event here. All the ticket sales are actually going to the, the relief fund to the victims from the, the big storm that hit. The big typhoon. Which is, uh, there's been a lot of casualties, a lot of damage done there. So it's really cool that Mineski are doing that. Yeah, it's really good for the gaming scene as well. We yeah. know that we are supporting like stuff like this when typhoon happens and they give up all the proceeds and everyone is gladly taking part in the event. It's, it shows that our the passion of the community here in the Philippines. Yeah. And it shows that gamers aren't just the part, aren't just like gamers. Like they're also the gamers as a whole are part of they like the greater heart. community. They have a heart. Yeah, and they're part of like the greatest, like they're part of society and the greater community as well. Like they'll help out for these causes. So it's it's great to see that Maneski are doing that. But yeah, it was really good. Like I think it's it's the first time it happened in esports. I think probably. I think it's been like similar type things, but never. I, I don't know. I haven't heard of much maybe, to like the same first, extent. First in South East yeah. Asia. Um, I'm not sure. There may have been something last time that the floods came, and that, that was quite a big tragedy, but it's definitely cool. Your favorite video introductions are going on. Uh, Kel, Kel from iZone Gigabyte is definitely one of my, my favorite Pinoy players. He's the guy yeah. in the middle. <laughs> oh, I, I think he's probably like maybe my, one of my favorite players. Isn't Kimo our favorite player? Nah, Kimo, Kimo's, he's funny, but bad guy of Pinoy. Yeah, he's just the bad guy, but I, I, I like I like Kel. Well, th speaking of Kimo, there we go. He got destroyed in our, our Macho Man competition. He finished dead last. Yeah, he was dead last. He was too cheesy. Yeah. I can't, I can't even remember what he, he was very forgettable. Nah, he's, don't worry, yeah. we, we represented BTS w w well. We got top two. It yeah, was a good BTS moment there. I think it's already I think it's already been uploaded. So <laughs> the video is already spreading thanks to LD. <laughs> LD was watching. Yeah, really closely. Yeah. Big uh, LD's been casting a lot of Dota as well with Ace as well as our Ness going on. So it's been tough work for him, but we've had a long day. You actually said you're getting tired for once. Yeah, casting it's in a LAN event isn't easy at all. Yeah. Well. It's going to be, uh, hopefully the game reloading soon. Are, yeah, are we actually in the game? Not even sure. Oh, you're in the wrong game. Oh, dear. Oh, we may be casting off the, well, we're going to be casting from them anyway. Did, okay. Is, is he loading? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, we, we may have missed the game, guys. We can still cast it, don't worry. Either way, you guys have the video from the Philippines casters. It's just a matter of whether or not we can roam around with our own camera. Uh, okay. I missed it. <laughs> I'm slacking, Winter. Whoops. Yeah, you were busy oh looking at Twitch chat. <laughs> they had uh, important information about uh, Yuka for us. <laughs> oh, but we're going to get ourselves. This is going to be a cast from the, the Tagalog stream. I, I think that means we may not have in-game sound, so I do apologize for that, guys. But we'll hop ourselves in now. It is going to be trial versus trial in at the bottom lane. 
Titan, actually, they're roaming through his five. Did they do this That's in the last game? No. no I, I think they didn't do this cheeky. in the last game. Cheeky. Titan are being a bit cheeky here. Oh. That's their train. They're baiting with the train. Oh, that's low blow yeah, coming Lobe. out. Telekinesis, the lift oh. is there as well. Sentry, oh, they got a kill. First blood by KYXY. That's a bit cheeky, Winter. That's those. That, those that's are the low the, blow. <laughs> those are the real big tricks that Ned likes to do, hiding in the trees. Yeah. Uh, low blow. Uh, 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 uh. Low blow. We'll see. Sentry world coming out immediately. Oh, they can't even deward it. They were waiting there. They wasted the sentry. Oh dear. Yikes. Good this stuff is a really, really good advantage for them because the Night Stalker basically has his bottle right now because of the first blood. He got the kill, did he? Yeah, he got the first blood. Oh. KYX got the first blood. That's gonna, yeah, he's gonna have bottle right off the bat. Boots very soon as well. And against an Invoker, that helps a lot. That's gonna allow him to at least be even on CS. He may actually last hit an I, Invoker. I, I think they even, know, they even know the rune is top. The first rune, zero minute rune. No one took it. It's yep. in this rune. They can save it for Night Stalker if they want to. They're going for another Ruby. kill. Telekinesis, Split Earth, not. Oh, oh. What? Oh. oh, what? What happened? What? Yikes. He tried to stun the. He Sal, tried to stun the the Sal saves him. But yeah. he can Joven tangle up. Tango on through. Extinct. He's going to get the kill here. Joven. They're not done. They're going to get Ned as well. And Ned going to go down. Two kills from Maneski. Wow, Titan getting punished. What happened with that Split Earth? That was. The worst split up I think I've ever seen in the grand final. What happened? The pressure. I don't know. This was a risk of doing an ag aggressive try lane. I was, Yikes. I, I wasn't really sure about that aggressive try lane. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that is, that is, un this is like new disrupt, like disruptor used to be bad in try lane versus try lane, but. 160 damage is not that bad. That thunder strike at level one is some serious damage. Oh, I think the lane now it's, 50% over for Titan. Yeah. Probably they should try rotating, but there's another problem. They can't leave the Luna solo bottom. Luna is not a hero with survivability. You need to take yes. care of him. He needs to get babysitted, taken care of. I think the lane's still okay for them, just based on like, I, they just got way too aggressive there. They can't initiate unless they've got a, a guaranteed stun and setup, but well, we're not seeing it yet. We, meanwhile, mid lane, Invoker going two points in Quas here, so hasn't shown if he's going Quas, Wex, or Exalt yeah. just yet. Okay, well, is going to get the rune at top. Yep. That's fine. Two minute rune. It's also the two minute rune as uh, a new rune didn't spawn. Kogu no, got boots. Kogu has boots. Ice. Oh, battery assault. Uh oh. Cops. Oh. This is gonna be. A, this is this gonna be a, be a kill. This is a Jesse kill. Vash just outplaying Ice on the top lane. Wow. That Jesse was, Vash. That was like a classic. Balba, where he mentioned that you get boots. Clockwork, you always get boots and battery assault high level, and you should yeah. get the good timing to kill the hero all the time. Yeah. He does it all the time, Balba. So Probably was... got way out of position there. He had to be near his tower. Or he must have Trians to follow yeah. him, so to take some of the battery assault damage. That was just like a complete misplay from Ice. Like, sure, Jesse Vash did it well there. He punished the mistake, but he I did, should have never been he there. He didn't see that the clockwork went to the side jump and got, got a boots, and he's yeah. just like, wow, why is this clockwork moving so fast all of a sudden? And he got caught out on the right side of the jungle, and he was just there. Well, Maneski, they may have given up first blood, but they strike back. Titan are going to look to contest this pull here. Get a couple last hits, steal the center if they can. Oh, I didn't, didn't really see if they got the center. I imagine they did because... Fable. Mineski were nowhere nearby as well. Mineski didn't even go for it. But this is a time for Mineski to try and fight. The Weaver is level 4. One level in Swarm. Oh, wow. One level in Swarm, two Shikuchi and one Gemini attack. This is a good time for them to take a fight. Yeah. The Sentry was already in the lane though, which is kind of uh, annoying for them at least. But, well. Yeah, but however, Night Stalker is seemingly having a really good time against the Level Evoker. 3 Crystal Maiden as well. So they've got both Crystal Nova as well as Frostbite. Just some harass coming down with the, the Crystal Nova. Yeah, spamming, spamming the Titan support, yeah. making it hard for them to lane here. I like this from Weaver. Picks up a belt of giant strength with a magic stick. He gets some extra HP as well as the, the magic stick against the trial lane. Fantastic as well. Yeah, magic stick and the ring of Bacillus. These two items yeah. are really important to determine who wins the trial lane. And you'll go for the fast treads. Getting the, the belt before the boots is just fine as well because you benefit you, more you from the You don't need HP. the boots, yeah, Weaver. Yeah. So. I, I think Mineski's position right now, they get level 3 disrupt. He gets another point in Thunderstrike. Look, look right now spam. is scary. Look at the spam. <laughs> yeah. Jules has the mana to use it. He's got one point in the aura. and That aura helps out these other lanes as well. Jesse Vash gets some extra mana to spam. and Well, yeah, base boots already Night on Invoker Stalker as well. Is, 
I think they really need to rely on KYXR yet again yeah. to create space for the whole team since he's like he's always like the only one who's having a good time. He's gone he's got an illusion rune. He would have much preferred to get like a haste or an invis room with it being nighttime now, but even though it's nighttime, that first night comes so early, you're only level five, yeah. so it's really hard to oh, go game. Cold snap, cold snap, I, yes, tornado. I don't think they get Oh, Tornado EMP. Nice spell swapping coming out. Oh, he almost got him. Very close. That was real like he got three spells off there very quickly. The beam boker. Night Stalker turns around. Luckily, he had the bottle. That was really important. He got the EMP off. Now, the Night Stalker can't really TP and gang. He's and out he of used mana. All his bottle, yeah, he used all his bottle charges just to heal up. He basically... Oh, here, is come, here comes Jules by the side. The CM. No, not going to work. Oh, he might die Jules because of that. caught out. Swarm goes down, though. It could be a trade here. They get this Crystal Maiden, but no chase coming out. Oh, that was really bad by this Crystal Maiden. Yeah. What was going on? It's, it's basically a freebie. That's been the, the story of Jules today. I don't know. Freebie after freebie uh, after freebie. Well, in the oh, past... Oh, Bimboko's in trouble. KY XY with a solo kill coming out. Titan are down 1-0. They're looking to force this to a game three. The winner bracket's advantage going Mineski's way in. It's three kills apiece now to it's start gonna be up. up to the Night Stalker. Night Stalker got a solo kill, so yeah. he's going to be the one dictating the pace of the game right now. And the Claw actually went for Arcane Boots. That's something really uh, strange for me. I guess he's going to be the mech buyer for the team as well, maybe. Like, you go for the oh, Arcane mech lane. build. Oh, oh they, they killed the that's, Weaver and That's the important. The CM, they, they noticed the CM teleporter made to try and back the yeah. Invoker up. And now Invoker's coming as well, looking for some revenge kills here. Tornado EMP with his cold snap. Oh, you see X the nice now. He gets one kill, but he's going to go for that. He's going to pay for this with his life. He just respawned. He immediately dies as well. Oh, that was so bad for the Invoker. Yeah. Invoker, mm. you need so much time in the lane getting those levels and items. And you die twice in the early game, just like that. Yeah. It basically means the next few minutes, three to four minutes, you're, farm. you're sitting in the lane <laughs> getting farm. You're he's not going to be helping your team. He can't rotate. KYX with this first night time has been so successful. He's got Treads Bottle as well as Magic Wand up. Clockwork though, level seven. Jesse Vast with maxed out Battery Assault. He can solo kill this Night Stalker even at night time, except when he's got an Invis Rune, and he's got an Invis Rune. Yeah, he's got a really, really lucky rune this time around. The clock, Clockwork, however, could be able to find kills at the bottom lane, I think. Well, they're going to rotate the two heroes on top. Night Stalker is there already waiting for the Invoker to come up. Oh man, jo Jay's just died twice and we're going to see him die oh, a no, third he's gonna time die in again. Row. He's going to die again. This is not looking good. He should get silence up immediately. He can't go to oh, a here comes work, Catches out. Oh, just one. This could be a kill though. They want to bring him they're down. They're going to kill the Prophet. KYXY going to take a look. Great tornado coming out. They kill off the Prophet. They oh, want to go on KYXY Glimps. as well. Oh, oh, just enough damage. Oh. Is it going to be there? Oh. Yes! Nice they Stalker get him. Down. Two for two trade. Weaver, meanwhile, died at the bottom lane, it looked like. So Titan did get a second kill out of that, but it wasn't a top lane. Mineski held their own. Clockwork threw away his life, but that was to save the Invoker. Yeah, Saving once, the Invoker there was the so Weaver, crucial. Once the Weaver get lift, lifted in the lane, he's just basically dead to that combination. Yeah. Lift into the Spade Earth and a Lucent Beam. Well, that Clockwork actually built the Invoker big time. That was big. Jesse Vash at this point. Invoker's life, slightly more important than his. I mean, he, he wants to get more farm and levels, but he set up two kills, and this Invoker's really been struggling. Titan, though, pressuring the tower. Weaver, oh, he's been spotted. Oh, be they spotted Weaver. He's got no boots as well. He's actually but trying to draw the creeps away, yeah. so that it's hard for Titan to push. This tower's going down regardless. Yeah, I don't think they can do anything to stop this. Yeah, there's no glitch, and a high on the Luna gets the last hit as well. Well, they're going to be count trying to take uh, at least one tier one tower at top for Mineski. Oh, they're going to catch the Weaver. Time oh, lapse. Oh, he's already used it. Is there anything, anything else oh, on the high ground? Loosen beam. One more right click. Extinct. Oh. Magic wand. Magic wand south. That right. belt of giant strength. Save him. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, didn't save him. Oh, didn't save him actually from the Night Stalker. KYXY comes in to finish him off. Meanwhile, top lane, Mineski are going to get this tier one tower. Looks like Invoker should get the last hit. That's a nice little pick up for Mineski. They oh, need they, that. He actually didn't get the last hit. Oh, oh Siege Creep. Siege creep. Whoops. Oh, KYXY probably could, will be... Oh, I thought he was going to use his smoke on the high ground, but decided against it's, it. It's daytime, and his haste rune's already worn. He, like, he used the haste rune to kill off, uh, get the kill of Bottom River, so... Maybe waits for the next night time, but I, he can still come with his team to go for those kills. I but. think it's still in Titan's favor, the way the game progresses, oh, yeah. because they... They are heroes, basically, the Prophet, Night Stalker. They would enjoy a lot more in the situation where Tier 1 towers are exchanged, the map is open wide up. A lot of room to gank with the Prophet TP, nice soccer roaming around. 
and the next night phase is going to be the most crucial night, I feel, for Titan. If they win a lot, big time on the, t the second night phase, they're just set for the whole game. Yeah. Well, as it stands, Titan, they're going to be spending the next couple of minutes just farming up the next couple items. Luna is level 6, needs a bit, doesn't actually have the mana to use the Eclipse, though, so... I think they just want to get ready to be able to back each other up for these team fights. Yeah. Nature's Prophet, get the ultimates online, and it looks like Ahaya now has got the mana for it at top, but... Hmm. KYXY has been getting a lot of kills around this map. Four kills and one assist to his name. What I, what type of items do, would you like to see on KYXY? Do you want to see a Midas? I don't think he's going no. to get a Midas. I think it'll be... The oh, here comes the Clockwork. Hooks into KYXY. Here comes the Invoker EMP. Ultimate it's, from the Disruptor. It's daytime as well. KYX gets pushed back by the Cox. He's already going down. Oh, they might kill the Let's as well. Let's try to go down. Trouble. The Telekinesis not going to matter. Profit CP in as is the Rubik. A clear. Oh, a a lot of damage. He, he got, got sent glimpse back. back. He glimpse got glimpse back. back. Luna now gone. And we're going to see Titan get one more kill though. They do bring down the Clockwork. Oh, Jay's in trouble. Oh, taking a lot of damage. Here comes His the Weaver. He's cooling down. Uh oh, Weaver gonna get one hit. Oh, the Sprout! Uh oh, that's not where you wanna be stuck. Neck gonna get away as well, it looks like. Luna's now back. He may be glimpsed back. Four heroes down on the Maneski side. Weaver would make it five, but he's gonna be okay for the time being. Yeah, Weaver's just gonna Shukuchi out of this. All in all, I think well, it was, it was big, a big victory for Titan. They killed up the Invoker, they killed up the Clock. They caught four kills actually. And yeah. Maneski had the Lash Rock, had the Night Stalker, and they had the Profit, so it was 4-3. to three. They brought the Weaver in. Like I, I think Maneski needed to bring Weaver to the fight, but it seemed like he showed up just a bit too late to clean up. If he was there five seconds earlier, Maneski win that fight, it seems and like. not to mention the Swarm actually missed on the Rubik. Yes. He they could have, have probably killed the Rubik as well. Yep. At least if he killed the Rubik, it would be 4-4. Four to four. Well, he takes a lot of damage at mid lane. Weaver going to be just shikuching himself on home. If Owa didn't glimpse the Luna back, uh, I imagine how terrible the fight would have went oh. for Maneski. I mean, they lost four as it is. The only other hero they could have lost was that Weaver, but... We're going to see Luna, Ahaya, look to build towards that BKB, and he's going to have a, a fairly decent time, it looks like. Yeah, I think he's going to get it probably in the next few, in sync with the second night phase. Yeah. I think he'll be able to get Ooh. it like at 12 to 13 minutes or so. That'll be devastating. On top of that, you're going to have Rubik hitting level 6, Leshrac got, has decent levels, and Prophet, 4-star first item from Ice on the Nature's Prophet, not going for that Midas. I think it's really good to get 4-star uh, against the Clockwork. Yeah. It means oh, that, that you can't happen. get hook Oh, the Rubik's not getting they've in time. Got out, yeah, they've got out of range. They're not going to get caught out from this one. And four stuff's up on the Invoker as well. So both teams with one four stuff on their team. Yeah, how do you like the Quasvex selection from Mineski this game instead of the Exot? It's, it seems okay. I think Exot would have given them a lot more killing power in that trialing versus trialing. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that, like with the Clockwork, he hooks in, you fold up with a Sunstrike. So. Yeah, there's a lot of combinations. Oh, here I comes Mineski Smoke. They're going to spot up KYXY. Oh, he Tornado, doesn't see him just yet. Has he got the he's got ulti, he can turn it to night, but he's not gonna do so and draw oh. down it looks like KYXY. Here comes the, the disruptor st static storm is there as well, causing problems here. Two kills for Maneski though. Trying to make it three is Jesse Bass. He's chasing down Extinct, not gonna keep up though. Oh, that was oh. such a good pickup. Maneski, Maneski. That was just so good. They're gonna just get a right free tower. It, right before night time. Yeah, right before well. night time and a free tower. Free tier one Night Stalk is dead for the start of the night time. Does he have buyback? I don't know, but I don't really think he wants to be using buyback at this, this early into the game. And Maneski don't even want to go for the tower. They just want to farm. There's a lot of farm awaiting the Weaver at bottom lane. So Joven heads there. Oh, oh. here comes the tornado from the Invoker. Cold snap. Oh. EMP. He's got four stuff. He should be okay. Oh, he took a lot of damage there. Yeah. Somewhat unnecessarily as well. So I seem to go back to farming. He needs to not have that support mentality. Yeah. He needs to be a... I think he needs to be a force to be... He needs to be a, a, carry. a force to be reckoned yeah. with in this game. If needs he, the Midas Shadow Blade type build, it almost feels the like. The Luna alone doesn't seem that he'll be able to deal with the Invoker and the Weaver And right Nightstalker is just like a, a tank and an initiator. He's not really a damage oh, dealer. Oh, Nightstalker is going to find a CM. Oh, oh Nightstalker is going to find a CM. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> they realize what's going on. He gets back. back. It's a bit too late, though. Nightstalker may not be done here. He's trying to chase down this Disruptor with Glimpse on cooldown. Oh, the Invoker's, Invoker's going to save him. Invoker's there going to save no. him. All right. Nightstalker should be oh. okay. He's, he's Where's tanky. the call work? The call work's coming in from the left-hand oh. side. Call work, put shot. Perfectly played by Jesse Bash. Now KYXY should go down. He gets pulled out, though, but still Nightstalker goes down. dying twice in the first, second night phase. That was when I That's felt that it was an important time yeah. for Titan to get control of the game. But dying like that, he was dying so hard there. That's catastrophic. You can't afford to be dying twice as soon as nighttime hits. Yeah, that was really, really catastrophic, like you mentioned. He tried too hard to get too many yeah. kills. As soon as he killed Jules, it was already 
It's a free kill. Yeah, it was, it was already off. a free kill. You just back off after that. You gain, you gain something, but he tried to kill the Disruptor as well, which was, I felt, too greedy. Clockworks is such a good hero to have against Night Soaker in general, it feels like. He can match up against... It's the only hero who matches up against Night Soaker during nighttime. You lock him in place with Cogs. You've got Battery Assault as well. He's just so good against Night Not Soaker. Not to mention that Disruptor ulti. Yeah. Inside the Cogs, you take full damage from the Disruptor ulti. You're not going to move anywhere. Oh, there's a Sprout on mid lane. Joven taking a bit of damage. Here He's running the BKB. Eclipse going to bring down Joven. That's a misplay coming out from the Weaver. Oh, the Lucent Blim mini stun actually stopped Joven from running away. Yeah. And there was, also, there was also a sentry right on the ground. Well, Titan now, they may want to look to... They want to take more fights. They want to go down this mid lane. It's still nighttime for a bit longer. Either take a team fight or the tier 1 tower. It looks like they get the tier 1 tower. Mineski not in position to fight this just yet, but Clockwork poised on the near the ancients. He could hook, hook into this one. Oh, here comes the Invoker. Oh, Tornado, oh, tornado on three Where's heroes. The hook shot? There we hook go. Shot. Disrupt Catches the ultimate. Out. Catches out a higher. Luna going to be the first to take a fall. Clockwork pays for it with his life, though. Buy back. Okay. Glimpse onto the ice. Nature's Prophet. He's going to get caught out. Brought down. They've lost two, though. It did cost them a buyback on the Weaver. They're chasing. They want more, but... Doesn't look like they're going to get any more for the oh, time being. They're going to even get the deny on the tower. Yeah. They were so big. Player. That'll deny Titan a lot of gold here. So 17 kills to 14. Still anyone's game here in our game two of this series. Our first actual played game. But Mineski with a one game advantage. Yeah. The Luna actually was so close to his BKB that he had like 1k gold. And he had his Ogre Club and yeah. Mitchell Hammer. Now he's going to be set back another few minutes. That was his first death, first death as well. No BKB for the time being. As, uh, for, for Weaver as well, we need that BKB up as fast as possible. Well, I don't know if like. Titan knows the tower is on the last hit. They can TP the Prophet to steal the yeah. tower. And Mineski haven't denied it. I don't know if they've realized yet either. You can click it, so Titan should be able to see how, what the HP on it is. But yeah, Prophet teleports top right now. He's going to be okay. doing some speed pushing on the top lane. Well, Mineski have got their work. This is like something they've done in the past. They go for just a one carry type lineup. It's only the Weaver here. Has he got his BKB? He's got not that much farm, it looks like. Just he the Ogre Club. Power Trades and Ogre Club. Ring of Akira. I wonder if he has anything on the career right now, but he does not look very farm, considering we're 16 minutes in. Yeah, Night Stalker is probably going to go for a BKB right now, straight up as well. There's too much spell damage. The Invoker, the Disruptor, he can't tank in the front lines. Like, yep. he had a really good start, but after that, he got picked off too many times. Oh, they saw the tower. tower. They got they the last the hit. Tower. Tornado comes too late. Bit of a misplay there from Mineski. They need to learn from KYXY. Get that deny. <laughs> Got to go in for that deny. It takes patience yeah. to deny the power. It takes big patience there. And Maneski <laughs> not going to get that. Well, that's a bit of a that's a big loss at this point in the game. Early on, Titan very pretty much even with their opponents. A tower gold can make a decent chunk of difference here when they need that BKB up on Luna. I think Luna has her BKB already. She just got it. Yeah, she just got her BKB. Okay, the tower gold giving Luna what, what was needed. Mm. Oh, Jules, get your Midas. You like to farm. <laughs> on the Crystal Maiden? Yeah. Well, he's, he's feeding too much for the time. He being. doesn't even have one point in Exot. Still doesn't have any That's points surprising. in Exot. That's surprising. Did you see what level he was? He, had, he has four points in Quas and six, level points in, six points in Wax. Yikes. Level 12. You get open up so many more spells with that one in Exot, especially the big one's Ice Wall, I feel like. Having Ice Wall early on. I think the Deathly Blast is also yeah. a huge spell. Because Ice Wall isn't about the damage. Exile gives you damage for it, but it's mostly about the slow and the lockdown. Yeah. With the Wax in six points in Wax, you get a lot of disable time from the Deafening Blast. Yeah. So even you don't do much damage because you have only one point in Exile, but it's still a very good disable. Well, we're going to see Titan there. They're happy just to play things a bit safe now. Nature's Prophet Ice is going full oh support no, he's mode. he's going Mecha without Aye. a Midas. Why? He's wasting... He could be getting so much more farm with a Midas. Winter, you need to sit down Ice and say, you don't do this with Nature's Prophet. You're, when you're Nature's Prophet in a game I'm, like this, you're I'm, a carry I'm pretty hero. Pretty sure almost. Bulldog is like, what? Why is he getting a Midas? Bulldog is disappointed. Disappointed that he's Prophet. But he actually said that he wishes everyone else who plays Prophet would lose so that Icewalk wouldn't say Prophet <laughs> is an Imba hero and he, he, he would nerf the Prophet. Yeah. Cheeky. Okay. Well, oh, here comes the Invoker in mid lane. He actually used his Tornado and EMP on the Luna. Luna is actually really low. Oh. Luna taking a lot of damage. Looks like Luna will escape back to base for the time being. Mineski, though, grouped up for a push here. Wrath of Nature going to go flying through. Not doing quite enough, though, it looks like. Oh, Invoker actually went for a use as well. He, he maxed his wax and he has use. He's going to be close to mo maximum movement speed with his Facebook activated. That's a scary thought. 
this is actually the way he plays Evoker back in Dota 1. The Quas Wax? Yeah, he doesn't go for Exalt early and he just okay. goes for a use. He would after. go for the Exalt build. I, he will go for, for the probably go for a dagger next. Classic yeah. Beamboker item, dagger for stuff. I've seen him go the Sunstrike build a few times. Joven almost always went Sunstrike build in Dota 1, but he's been doing the Quas Wax as well, so it seems the way Maneski want to use this hero. The recent buff, EMP gives mana to Invoker, so probably yeah. it's, it could be that reason. Oh, they're going to catch out Luna again. Does he have his BKB? Oh, yeah. his BKB is oh, on cooldown. Oh, oh, they're looking they for him. The Rocket Flare not going to scam just yet. They're going to find him with the Tornado. Oh. Shock and a miss. Cold Snap will be enough, though, if they've got it. The Cogs is there, and the higher trapped inside of the Cog. Brought down. x going to be next. Maneski get two. They're not done. They want more. Titan on the run now. Rubik's going to Shikuchi on out of there. Nature's Prophet. Maybe trap four stuff on cooldown. The mech is there, but Maneski not going to chase. They play it safe. They want to, Oh, they found another target. Oh, no, it's no, Night Stalker. Stalker. During nighttime as well. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Sh Nat is caught out as well. He gets glimpsed back. The killed four heroes for nothing. Playing Maneski in front of the Pinoy crowd. Uh, Something very difficult to do. The Prophet didn't TP in to try and mech the Luna as well. So yeah. Her BKB was going to be on off cooldown soon. I feel that if he would have teleported in, I'm not really sure exactly how many seconds, but he could have just TP and mech the Luna. Yeah, well, Maneski going to follow this up with a tier 2 tower pickup. Titan have their back against their wall here. This is a do or die situation. If they lose this, Vineski are going to be your champions of the GMPGL. Look at the goal lead dropping to 2000. It was Titan who were ahead, and look, the experience is all in Vineski's favor. They've got the levels, not even playing that Midas gaming. Disruptor has level 2 ultimate as well. That's a, a decent chunk of damage. Yeah, Juice, be doing. Juice, who had a bad start, is almost has his boss staff as well. Yeah. They're going to have. Two, two four staff. Prophet I, I, can't. I'm push not sure now. The, yeah, I'm not sure what the clock will get, but they're gonna have two four staff and use after. They're gonna have a lot of mobility items on their heroes, and we were alone himself. It's already a very mobile hero. So basically, the whole Mineski lineup will be like kiting orange, uh, not orange. Sorry, Titan all over. Yeah, I can't believe this. This Nature's Prophet just has no damage at this point. He can't split push. He's all about like team fight, but Titan don't really want a team we fight. We were talking about Midas and the Night Stalker, Midas and the Prophet, but. Zero Midas. Zero Midas now. I'm disappointed. Not greedy. It's not even about being greedy. It's, it's not just about, about being greedy. It's about keeping the game alive. It's what, yeah, doing what's needed to win games. You need to be efficient. It's, it's not being efficient is the main problem here. Crystal Maiden now gets a four star from Maneski, so Jules even getting some decent items up. Yeah, and we were. Jowen almost. Oh, he actually has his BKB already. Well, we'll have to see what he looks like. What, a damage item comes up after that BKB, and once he has that damage item up, that's where. This game gets very difficult for Titan because you trap someone in the cogs, like a, the Luna in BKB form, even a Night Stalker, they'll go down to this Weaver right click damage. They are all about trapping people. There's the kinetic field, there's the cogs, and these two spells interact with each other so well because you yeah. have the disruptor to just place his ultimate on top of whoever you hook shot and cogs. It's just basically without BKB, you're dead. Well, it is nighttime now for some time. Darkness being popped as well, but. Maneski don't really care. They've got double four staff, I believe. Maybe even a third four staff coming up soon on Disruptor. Yeah, Disruptor's going to get his four staff as well. Soon. Yeah. Well, Joven up to 1k gold on top of the BKB, so he'll probably start thinking about that Desolator of his as his next damage item. Well, I think Mineski are really strong enough to contest any fight Titan comes to, yeah. to approach them. Titan have no damage, it just feels like. Luna not, has, isn't really a carry yet. Prophet went mech. Night Stalker is just kind of squishy. I, I think the mech on the Prophet is somewhat forgivable, as long as he has a Midas to accompany yeah. it. Oh, I'm, You're losing, know, essentially he's losing gold. He was playing so defensively, he got a boss staff as his first item because there's a clockwork in the field, but not getting the Midas is, is just such a big mistake in my opinion. Yep. Well, Night Stalker is going to have a BKB up soon, and that's going to be, I guess, a small turning point for time. The problem is, this night time is going to be wearing off Oh, I saw the bad. items on the clock. Look, he has a mech, and he almost completed his 4-staff as well. Okay. So there'll be 4 4 staff on Mineski. Mineski is that's famous scary. for fi having 5 the p the p 5 staff. Yeah, yeah, 5 for five four <laughs> staff in the team. Back in the, the TI3 East qualifiers, I think they did have the 5, five 4 staffs in one game. Kiting you from the end of the earth to the other end of the earth. <laughs> that's one way to initiate... You get it, do it with the Batrider, you pull someone, like, 5 full staff oh, now. they're going to probably catch someone else in the jungle. Are they going to walk straight? Oh. It's Ice farming the jungle. The Prophet. Night Stalker is BKB now. That's a, a nice pickup for Titan, but with all these full staffs, oh, it's comes so difficult to actually kill anyone with it. Oh, he missed the EMP. It's, it's okay. They're just harassing it. I think point, it was it very important like. for him to hit the EMP. Once he hit the EMP, the Luna has to go back to regen. Loses 400 mana. And then I, maybe pressure the tier 2 tower yeah. as well. 
he really wanted to hit that badly. Yep. Well, Titan now. They need to the speed push with the Prophet. Yeah, right they're now. playing so defensive. He is going to TP top. So. He's too poor. Yeah. I, he can still go back for the damage items. Like going back for a Shadow Blade, I feel, is still possible for him. Shadow Blade, Hex, he needs but some actual damage. Without the Midas, it's going to be really slow, his items. Yeah. His item pro progression will, will, not, will not be like a normal Prophet. At this point, it feels like it's too late for the Midas, though, almost. Yeah, there's no point in getting a Midas now. Yeah. They're probably going to lose the next fight. If they lose the one more fight, I think it's done. They're going to lose control of the whole game, and Mineski will be free to control the map and get the roll shot. Uh, well, they control the map right now. They're going to take this T1 bottom tower. Maybe Titan go for a deny, but split push from Titan. Look at look at how confident are Mineski taking that tier one tower at bottom. Yeah, Mineski just—they're not even going to stop. They go to the T two. The mech up on the clock were giving them some uh, serious just confidence here, and they've got these level two ultimates. Clockwork level eleven. The disruptor has his. So these oh, ultimates are going to They're going to try and fight here. Oh, there is going to be initiation coming out on the Weaver. He gets silenced up. Oh, he down. Miss, misses the EMP again. Yeah. This will force Mineski back. Mineski see these TPs and they just say, okay, let's go back to farming. Farm the other lanes. Yeah, and Mineski, they have actually a lot of, all of their heroes are more farm than Titan right now. Even the supports have four stuff and the Titan supports have basically nothing apart from their own <laughs> yeah. levels. That's really important because during the fights, the supports are going to be the make, making the difference, making the plays, four stuff initiation. So it'll be really important for the Titan supports to at least get some items up. Oh, here comes the Evoker. Yeah. Oh, misses the Tornado EMP again. Not the big. At this point, he's just trying to harass. He's not looking for the kill. Ice, ice. What are you doing? Behind enemy lines, he TP'd into absolute. Mech. He has the mech. Oh, needs a bit more damage. Is there any more spells? One more right click. He goes down to the disruptor thunderstrike. Yeah, here comes by. the nice Immediate BKB. He wants his kill. One or two more right clicks will do it. One for one trade at the bottom lane. Losing just the disruptor though. Oh, now he's still going in for the CM. CM is TP. TP Juke. Oh. No. No escape for you, Jules. Silence up as well. Tornado is there. Jay's gonna back him up. Oh, Frostbite. Oh, he went back in. He has four stuff. J Jules has four stuff. He had four stuff. I'm speechless, Winter. Here, come the, here comes the Luna Eclipse. Oh, we are now doing some damage. Luba. BKB gonna prevent this and Luna's gonna be careful. Meanwhile, Night Stalker in trouble as well. He's silenced for now. But nice, stalk, nice Stalker can't Jules. outrun. He can't outrun uh -oh. the Invoker. The Cold Evoker snap, is too fast. Tornado, anything will just deal with KYX. Where the offensive urn has been used, defensive one to heal him up now. Uh, Cold there. Snap is there. Easy kill for Invoker. Wow, he was so quick. You set the face boots, max on wax. He's playing it well. Bimbo's had a great game on this Invoker. Mineski, I, they're just suddenly clicking. This team is just working. Like they're individually playing well, as a team they're playing well. I think the probably downside of the team was just Juice is not still <laughs> continuing his feeding spree. But yeah. He's getting teams killed. Look. His team kills because their team are. He's baiting. Titan are trying to kill him so hard and they are always diving to kill Jules. Ta he's tactical feeding, don't worry. Yeah, and his team are pay making Titan pay for diving so yeah. hard to kill Jules. Yeah. Well, all the four stars coming Mineski's way and we'll have to see exactly I what still, Titan I can do. I still thought Jules would, should have survived that. He had four stars up. He yeah. wanted to bait too, too much. I think he tried to turn around for a frostbite as well, yeah, but he couldn't actually click the he couldn't click the hero because it was in the tornado. So he ended up like instead of frostbiting, he walked forward. That yeah. is what I feel happened. I think he would have been fine though, even though he didn't get the frostbite off. He just needed to frost off and yeah. make make sure he survived. They would have got the kill regardless. But this is going to be a really tough situation for Titan right now because yeah. the the prophet is not exactly a carry anymore, and Luna is the sole hope. Nice stalker is not farmed. They're down a kill. They're down a lot of levels here. Mineski are the ones in control of this game. It's all about playing for a late game Lunar, it feels like. Profit, not going to be a really scary carry here of any sort. Ancients are being found up by Titan, but it may even be almost like too little too late for them. Suddenly, Mineski, for the first time this game, actually have a gold lead. The comebacks, gods. Yeah. Not just once, twice now. This was what I mean, Titan didn't have a big lead this time, but it definitely was an advantage. And this is also another game where... There's no Midas on any of the heroes. Disappointed. Well, earlier today it was not enough Necrobooks today, as well as like or items like Pipe. This time around, not enough Midas's, not enough greed coming from Titan. They're just not really adjusting to the new yeah, patches. is gonna group up. This this push is gonna be really difficult to stop. Yeah, the Desolator on Weaver is the key item here. This allows them to just bring down towers so much faster, and any who are caught out in the cogs is just gonna melt to the minus armor and the plus damage from the Desolator. Yeah. 
and they're going to cross. This time it's Mineski being the objective team. One, one tower after the other tower, after tower, yeah. picking up wards in the enemy. Look at the wards Mineski have in the enemy enemy territory. And they're going to do Roshan right, right after that. Yeah, into, into the pit, there they go. Mineski is learning from Titan. The pressure is on into grand finals, and Mineski are definitely one of the safer Pinoy teams in general, but we'll oh. see what Titan, Titan know what's oh, going on. Oh, they're poised around the pit. It's down to half HP, though. Titan. Titan needs to scout this. Oh, they're they going to see with the Trians. Ah, they know what's going on. Mineski don't want to leave. They need to stay near this Roshan pit. Titan, however, have the advantage. They have a nature's prophet. He can force the enemy team to go back and defend the tier, tier 2 yeah. towers. He can, but with his items, he's not going to actually do that much pressure to them. Like, a four staff. A mech and an ultimate off yeah. base boots. Does he even... Okay, he's going for the, the Scythe of Vice. So that's say he could go back for the Necro Book, but not going to do so. Yeah, and his level progression isn't good enough as well, because without the Midas, there's no way the Prophet can level up that quickly unless you get a lot of kills. Yeah. He's just really struggling to get involved here, and Mineski just capitalizing on all these mistakes. They've got the utility items up they need. They've got the quadruple four staffs going. Oh, look at Mineski camping near the Roche pit. Yeah, they send in Weaver alone. Electricity on the Weaver. Well, they should be able to bring down Roche. They need someone to tank for the Weaver. The Weaver's doing so much damage. He's going to time lapse out. They, they play this safe. They're going to back off, it looks like. Treant's going to oh. scout them out. I think they knew that the Weaver used his ultimate. Titan want to go in, maybe. They've got a small 30 second or so window. Tornado from the low ground. Scouts out Titan. Doesn't actually hit anyone, though. Look, look at how cocky is the Invoker. He's running up and down like a boss. He's not even afraid going up the high ground. Yeah. Prophet is meanwhile speed pushing top lane. I think Mineski are really determined to get this Roshan. Oh, oh here yeah. comes the call. He oh, got Oh, it's nice. He can time. use cogs on the, on the cliff. BKB's popped by the Night Talk. He goes down. He couldn't actually cast anything. Oh, no. Now the Roshan uh, goes Aegis. down. Aegis picked up by the Weaver. Mineski saved the Roshan. Night Talk are going to immediately kill him. They've lost three, though. They're going to make it just two with the Aegis. Great fight for time to start things off. Now oh, the, the Weaver. Weaver. Silence. BKB, BKB gets used. He's got time lapse now. He may be able to get out of this one. Should time lapse Shikuchi. Oh, oh, he's not out. Sprout. Sprout. Ice had a chance. He misses it. Uh, it was a good fight for it Titan. It was a very difficult chance. Imagine if Night Soccer had stolen that Aegis as well. That could have gone so bad for Mineski. I think the, the crucial point was Clockwork failing to get his cogs on time. I think it was Silence. He, he wanted to get his cogs on a choke point so that uh, yeah. his team could get the Roshan safely and he would force stuff himself out, but he got Silence. That was actually a really good idea and play by Jesse Watch. It was just unfortunate that he got Silence before he could do his cogs. Yeah, Night Soccer played that fight really well, getting off some key silences there on multiple occasions, but... Well, Mineski, it's a, a wake-up call. This game is not theirs yet. Yeah, Mineski still had, had the last hit on the Roshan, so it wasn't entirely a disaster for them. But it shows that they had to be careful whenever they choose their positioning to engage with the Titan heroes, because Titan have the Eclipse and the Prophet Ultimate. Those two spells do a lot of damage to those supports. Well, we'll see uh, Luna now picking up some big items. 2k gold on top of the Manta. Manta dropped. Careful. <laughs> that's efficiency. Wow. Drop the Manta just for the Arcane Boots. I think boots. that's the first time I see someone drop a Manta. A Luna drop a Manta yeah. for Arcane Boots. I've seen some unusual item drops, but I don't think I've seen a Manta drop. <laughs> Why not? They're getting desperate, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but you're doing little things like that. He really wanted the Manta, oh, I guess. Oh, the Invoker has a Hex set of Vice. That's a lot of farm for Bimbo. He's even the highest level in the game. He's absolutely mad. He's played. He's been the MVP for Mineski so far. Even though he's missed some tornadoes and EMPs, he's Ima just spamming imagine them out. Imagine the start he had. He got killed twice in a row. He yeah. died. TPR died. Almost had a third time. That Clockwork save turned this game around. If Clockwork doesn't save Invoker that third time, this is a different game right now. Yeah, the Invoker player would have been like demoralized. You died yeah. three times in a row, like that. Oh, they're gonna be backstabbing. Well, Titan. We're going to have to be careful here. They realize what's going on. Look at them. Look at everyone. They're hiding in the tree line. Crockwood has got Rocket Flay to scout them out, maybe. Wait, send the tree. Oh, the Prophet has hex. Micro, Micro your tree. -ins. Prophet has hex. He hasn't got it yet. It's not on him yet. BKB. Uh oh, Crockwood. Luna BKB eclipses there. Uh oh, a lot of damage going down. It's going to be Luna trying to bring down the Mineski side. They're going to lose the Weaver. Oh, oh sorry, the, the Clockwork. Weaver going to be next, maybe. Joven on the run. Meanwhile, Jay Neck going to go low, but he doesn't go down. Mineski have killed three. Weaver's yeah. still fighting him. Mineski already killed all the core heroes. They can't fight now. They can't fight at all. Oy, oy, they dash in with the BKB from the Night Stalker, BKB from the Luna, but they still couldn't get a good fight because the Clockwork hooked in. 
They and put so much effort into trying to killing that Invoker too, and they just couldn't do it. The Disruptor and the clock and the spells from the Invoker basically stopped the rest of the Orange, the Titan team from coming in from the from the back end. The only two heroes dealing damage were the BKB heroes, the yeah. Night Stalker and the Luna, and it wasn't enough. All the four staffs paying off for Mineski in that fight as well, like having that extra mobility to get them away from the Lunar Eclipse, away from the Night Stalker when he's right clicking, just kept them alive. This is just how is it to play a Pinoy team at land. Oh, yeah. Ice. He's uh -oh. definitely there. He hasn't got his Hex just... Well, he's got the money for it, but Ice needs to evolve and become Ice 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 right now because he is not playing well enough for Titan to win this game, it feels like. Like you, like you said, he has this mentality of a support even at the position tree. He's not trying to yeah. do more for his team, like the admirable Bulldog style of play. Position tree, but you're actually the carry for the team. You do a lot of farm and you try your best to be the main source of damage output for your team, but Ice is just basically trying to be the utility prop yeah. for this game, and I don't think it just helps his team because they are in such a huge deficit right now. The Luna is not going to kill the whole Mineski team alone. He needs some backup from the Prophet. Yeah, and Prophet's not getting it. Night Soccer with a BKB. I wonder if he's got anything like an armlet coming because maybe he can do some damage, but then you've got the Titan supports. They're both I think limited on items. I think he's going for Heaven's Hell, but I saw an Ogre, okay. Ogre Club on him. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I remember the second Ogre Club now as well. So Heaven's Halberd for the Night Soccer. Maybe if like the Leshrac can stay alive and do some damage, but I feel like both Titan supports are very underfarmed right now. This is the main point that we were discussing about like the past few games. Yeah. The supports are really crucial. Your supports need to be farmed in order to be able to do that, do damage and win fights in the new patch. Supports being just having just one four staff after 30, 40 minutes just doesn't cut it. Well. Titan give up another tower. They don't even try and hold that one. I, they just I can't. I wouldn't say give up. They can't even defend it. Yeah. They, they just can't. Concede. <laughs> say con you guys con take this. Concede is the better word. Yeah. Well, Butterfly will be coming out for Ohio's Luna. He's, he feels like he's the only hope left. With Nature's Prophet going this build, it's got to come down to Ohio to carry this game in the ultra late. Unless game. it goes late enough that the Prophet has six items. But yeah. I don't think that the game would reach that long. If The longer the game goes right now, like the next 10 minutes, it's going to be Mineski controlling the game. And they're going to be looking towards getting damage into the structures of Titan, getting a Rex. Most importantly, Extinct getting a bit of farm in his ledge track. He's got his four star, picks up a point booster as well, giving him some extra HP. A BKB. I think he needs a BKB. Yeah. It looked like he was just maybe thinking about the Bloodstone, but. Oh, here it comes. Oh, four star to the high ground, not going to get found. No, he knows someone is. That was close. Someone is looking for him, Ice. It's definitely a hard game to be playing Nature's proper. You're against Clockwork, Hookshot. Clockwork and a Cross Vex Invoker, yeah. especially. Tornado to find you, there's Cold Snap, there's so many things. Even like here is like Weaver and Disruptor can be annoying for a Nature's Prophet. Yeah, this is definitely not a good game for under farm. I can understand profit. why he went for these like more support items, like the four star uh, as well. Yeah, but I still think you have to take the risk. Like you just yeah. have to place much. We could have gone Midas before the four star, before the mech. He would have definitely had those other items and all more time with the Midas. Yeah, if he got the Midas, we're now thirty-seven minutes in. He's got these items plus, plus a damage item. A damage item. Yeah, and not to mention he's gonna be so high level. He's wow. level sixteen now with the Midas. He could have been at least 22, 21. And this Weaver's getting filthy rich. I think he had something like 6k gold on top of the Desolator. I think going for even a heart could be a good item choice this time. This In this situation, because he just needs to make sure he doesn't die. The Clockwork has a mecha to bail him out. And the rest of the t of his teammates just rely the Weaver to be a huge distraction in front. Yeah. Because There's your heart. Yeah, Disruptor and the Crystal Maiden are both supports that stay behind. So they need someone durable in front. And Invoker is not a durable yeah. carry. Clockwork didn't go for durable items, he went for utility items, for self mecha. So, I think the heart is a really good item choice for the Weaver. Well, Heaven's Halberd picked up by the Night Stalker. A lot of these late game items now showing up here. And Voka with 3k gold as well, already has the Hex. Maybe looks towards an Aghanim Scepter, maybe your Refresher Orb. Ah, I like the Refresher Orb. You get two Hexes, you also get two of everything else. But I still think the safest choice right now, if Jay doesn't want to throw the game, get a BKB boy. That's true. You BKB, yeah. you cast your spells, the Night Stalker's not going to silence you. He's got yields though, like he can use himself. Yeah, but, but you don't want to get hit by the Eclipse, you don't want to get yeah. hit by the Split Earth. There are so many spells that can That's stun true. and disable you. Getting a BKB, which means that you have freedom to cast all your spells, whatever spells you want to. Yeah, good point. Weaver now, uh, he's had that heart for some time and we'll see exactly uh, I what actually think Titan is in a lot of trouble now. Yeah, it, it's... Oh, I, I worry for them. You have to worry. Yeah, this is just not looking good this, at all for them. This is it. If they lose this game, they're out. They, they're second place. They came here, expected to be the champions, expect to get first. And Mineski 
it, it's looking like it's going to be them right now. Mineski is going to line up with a five-man push right now. Down yep. the mid lane. Confidence. Invoker running up front. Oh, yeah. Well, they may just go for the high ground. They've got the Ford Spirit side. He has got some points in Exalt now. And this is where using like Deafening Blast, Ice Blast, and all these, uh, sorry, Ice ice Wall and all these other things oh, are just so right. powerful. The Prophet needs to speed push even harder right now. Yeah. He needs to make use of the time his team defending the tower yep. to speed push harder. So he's still really, really far from the tier 2 tower at bottom lane. Wow. They're just going to keep on sieging. They're just going to keep on chipping away at this tier 3 tower. And Titan have to initiate. It's night time, but they still just can't fight. They can't. How are they going to fight this? Yeah. Clockwork great against Night Stalker. You've got Invoker who's also... Even Night Time. Night Stalker's not scary. That's the thing here. It's night time. Mineski can just straight up kill him and not worry about him. Three of their heroes just match up so well. Weaver, Clockwork, and Invoker all just tear him apart. I think the main reason is he's also under farm. He doesn't really yeah. have the items that a 40-minute Night Stalker would normally have. Having... Probably usually you have... Um, Another extra item like an omelet or maybe an X item, which means you are much more tanky. But at this point, he just has a Heaven's Helbert and a BKB. That's all. He died seven times so far in the whole game. That hurt him the most. Well, the farm first, continues. Four staff gaming. It, the, yeah. the Night Stalker can't chase down anyone. Pinoy Pride staff gaming. They need an Abyssal Blade. <laughs> Needs, yeah, some way of uh, locking these heroes in place. But. Those items just aren't going to be coming anytime soon. KY, XY continue to farm. There's no big items inside. That's the thing here. The Roshan is already up. Oh, and they can kill that so easily here. Jovens is massive here with a heart. He's got 4k gold as on top of this already. So can start thinking about something like a butterfly maybe. Whatever it may be. Well, this Maneski team, they are really looking like a different team from yeah. the group stages. I think one of the crucial things they changed was the roles. They swapped Jules to a support role and Jay back to the solo role. And yeah. there was really a huge difference in the team right now. It does seem to suit their play style a lot better. Everything just seems to be gelling very well here. Yeah, and Juice was far too aggressive as a mid laner as well. And oh, here comes yeah. the Roshan fight. Well, Ford Spirit's on the high ground there. Weaver on the low ground with Alacrity. He's going to be looking to bring down Roshan. Where is the clockwork? Look for the clockwork hook. Mm, no hook just yet. Disrupted now, trying to position himself to get off that big ultimate as well. This is going to be two, two choke points that the Clockwork can hook into and place his cogs in the really... Prophet already used his ultimate as well, so that's a lot of damage from Titan now taken uh, out. The Prophet is at the door of the base of the okay. Mineski at top. He is, he is going for the Rato to the split push. Titan just want to stall this Roshan. They don't want to try and fight, but they just want to try and prevent Roshan from going down. They have they to go push. in. Oh, Roshan's still They have to buy time for the Prophet. Oh, oh they're going to get Bimbo. they found Invoker. He's got Hex, he's got Force up. He's oh, going to go down. Oh, Bimbo goes down. Bimbo goes down. That's a big problem here. Now Joven's next. He's on the front lines. He's BKB beat up. He's trying to fight. His time lapse is oh, out. Oh, the Prophet teleported in. Why, uh -oh. Ice? Force up. He's good. Why did he teleport It's in? not just Maneski with Force up. I think he, had, he, he was better off to pushing top lane. Yeah. Hook shot. Hook shot. Immediate Hex. So Jesse Bash going to go down. Maneski lose him. Titan is still fighting this one. Ice, Ice, Ice. TP out gets cancelled. He's in trouble now. Four stuff is there. It's not just Maneski with four stuff. Titan using him too. They kill off the Crystal Maiden. The Clockwork Sprout now blocking. Oh, they lose profit. Great Deafening Blast coming out from the Oh, Invoker. the Weaver can't attack anyone. Oh, he got he disarmed. Does now. He got disarmed. It looks like Joven Sanity going to go for another. Can he get the Night Stalker? Not going to do so just yet. Shikuchi stolen. Let's shot buys out. I don't know if it's going to matter here. Oh, Sunstrike maybe? Does he oh, have a Sunstrike? Invoka. He's got in two seconds. Very yes. soon. Does he have vision of the Luna? Oh, oh, Rubik found Weaver. Rubik should be. Rubik should be. Up after he may get this kill. I don't think he'll get this. He's kill. He's out of mana. Yeah. Very close. If they kill the Weaver, there, that's a big fight for time. Even so, they still win that team fight. Yeah, Roshan is still up. <sighs> the four stuffs in this game just turning these fights into like having. There's so many unkillable heroes. Neither team really has the burst damage, I, I it wouldn't feels like. say unkillable heroes. It's just yeah. basically... Hard to kill. The items make the game so interesting. Like, the heroes are actually... Prophet, Rubik, Lashrock are all really weak heroes. But the mobility of the heroes because of the items making the difference there. Oh, Roshan and, attempt again. And neither team has that much actual burst damage at this stage in the game. Apart from, like, maybe the Weaver. But Luna's getting there. Luna with a Butterfly Man to BKB. Titan... Still I think in the Luna game. deals more damage in a congested area just because how the yeah. base works. Luna... 
with the Manta Star and his ultimate definitely deals more damage than instantly the than the Weaver. The Weaver deals his damage for over, over a period of time. And if it's like a spread out scrappy fight, it's good for the Weaver. Oh, Nat is getting cut out in the rush pit. Uh -oh. oh, the four stuff didn't save him. Jam, they lost the jam. I don't know if Maneski saw that one. We're gonna oh, Ohio is hacked. Oh no, Ohio gonna get out. He gets saved here. There's a BKB already used. Double BKB gets popped now. They've got to kill someone. I don't think Titan are doing this. Ohio getting focused down. He's got nowhere to run, nowhere Ohio's to hide. Going to He's going to Ohio's go down. going down. Immediate buyback. He wants to come and fight. Next is the Night Stalker. Caught in the cogs here. Night Stalker. Ohio. KYX like fighting for his life. Not going to do so. No, Ohio bought out. Here comes Luna. There's an Eclipse up. He backs off he, though. Pops a Manta he has Star. 30 seconds to his BKB cooldown. He can't fight this. He's got to give up Roshan. Sends in the Manta Illusions. Oh, they no. just they pop, they got forced to pop their BKBs way too early. But if they don't use the bigger bees, they're gonna be destroyed by the disruptors ultimate and the kinetic fail. They yeah. will, they had to use the BKB regardless. They were just caught out of position more than anything there. Oh, here comes the invoker tornado. He's yeah, gonna try and scout out the Luna. No, Luna's already uh, back to base more or less for the time being, but Luna with no buyback. Night Soaker dead for 30 seconds. I'm not sure if Night Soaker can buy back, but if you force it, it's a victory regardless. And Mineski. With ages on their side, they want to push high ground. Oh, this push is going to be really difficult to stop. Yeah. Oh, the Prophet is not split pushing again. Ice, what are you doing, man? You've got to be split pushing. Meanwhile, Luna now in the Oh, the Kongwell Kong shot on two heroes. Catches out two, needs a BKB or some kind of escape here. Extinct goes down. A higher force. Oh, the Luna is dealing very... a lot of damage. Yeah, he needs to bounce on through. He oh, needs to get some kills Aegis. here. Aegis. I. It's not really enough for Titan at Do this point. Do they have point. the lift from the Rubik? Oh, he oh, popped BKB. the BKB. Needs a Sprout to trap him in place, but he doesn't have the Sprout. Oh, oh Jules TP out. out. Nicely played by Jules and Mineski. They all survive on less than half HP. Net can't chase. The Cogs is there blocking his path. Yeah, the Luna showing that she's still a really strong hero at this point of the game where they were fighting in an area where the Glaives yeah. just kept bouncing and bouncing and bouncing with the Manta Illusions. They took so much damage from the Glaives alone. And... The Eclipse eventually almost killed three heroes. Almost killed three heroes. Yep. Well, they were lucky they had the Aegis. Yes. At the same time, Mineski knew they had the Aegis and Cheese and were thinking, hey, let's just push the high ground. We can be aggressive. Night Stalker was dead. Ohio had no buy. If they kill off Ohio there, it's GG. He I had think, no buyback. I think they're reaching a, at a point, if the game goes late enough, the Luna will be the strongest oh, hero yeah. on the map. Weaver's almost maxed out. He's going to have an MKB, which will help a lot against the Luna with the Butterfly, but after this, I feel like there's no nothing more really for the Weaver. However, the BKB timing going down for the Weaver, I think he's at four seconds right now. The same for the Luna, the, though. The disarm from the Night Stalker would have been, the yeah. Heaven's Helmet would be really effective on the Weaver. Oh, CM with a BKB. Jules has his BKB. That's actually a, a pretty nice pickup here. This late in the game, Freezing Field, big slow on both your movement speed and attack speed and oh decent damage. The Prophet, the Prophet's item is just sad. Yeah. Just sad. Just plain sad. He's pretending he's a windrunner or something, because this is not how you play Prophet. No, definitely This not. is what you do if you're a windrunner, but yeah, not a Prophet. Bulldog would definitely not agree on this build. Yeah. Well. And you have to follow the best Prophet player in the world, Bulldog. <laughs> follow our, our Lord and Savior, Admiral Bulldog. Well. As it stands, Mineski, they're going for another push here. They haven't got Aegis, but is that going to stop them from going for a push here? Yeah, this is going to be no really, buyback really for difficult. two and a half minutes. I think the, the main situation for Titan to get control of is they really need to get Ice speed pushing a lot quicker than he has done for the past two times. The last two times, the Mineski, five heroes were grouped in middle. He basically didn't do any damage to the structures of Mineski's base. Yeah. He's the prophet. How, how can he His let that items, happen? Like mech, and mech force up. Oh, and Rubik lifted the Weaver. Oh, oh Clips no, is being missed already. BKB both getting popped by Weaver and Luna. Hook gonna oh, actually the miss. Kinetic field. Oh, force up forward. This is problematic. Jesse Bash may go down. Luna getting forced to safety. The Hex already being used up. Crystal Maiden freezing field. Luna is dead. It was a glimpse back, it looks like. They killed the Luna. Oh, they killed is, the Night Soaker. GG. GG, possibly. Maneski kill off both the core heroes here. Weaver's still alive. Invoker's still alive. How do you defend this? There's no buyback. There's no buyback. Invoker and Weaver both have buyback. They can go for another lane. Go top, go bottom. Oh, Clockwork buys back. Oh, no. Titan are done. Mineski look like they may be your champions here. I don't think Titan have anything left. Yeah, I don't. I really don't think so. Mineski may have just won one of their first big Dota 2 championships in a long, long time.
It's been the South, the Singaporean and Malaysian team, Zenith Orange, who have dominated the scene for some time in Southeast Asia, but Maneski may finally have broken that. It seems that without Moshi, this team is a, yeah. is a, ho is a, is a horse without a captain. It's a Whoa. team without a captain. A second set of racks is now going down. Maneski are looking good. Tied in with two here. Luna and Nightstalk is still dead. 40 seconds on this Luna. You get mega creeps. You end the game here almost. I maybe you go. I guess Roshan's still dead, so uh, they've got so much sure they have, so much gold. I'm not sure whether they have enough time for the mega creeps, but they are in total control yeah. of the game right now. Wow. It would take an EG level throw for them to lose the game right now. Mm. Look at the faces of the Titan players. They are not talking at all. In the past, when we've seen their camera shots, normally someone's talking. They're not animated, but they're at least discussing the game. At this point, Titan have just stopped talking altogether. They are a team lost. They don't know what to do. They are just shocked and stunned. The Luna is just basically not going to get to the point where she's the strongest hero in the map because she's just dying too much using her buybacks. The BKB is so short at this point. At th that fight there, Luna got four staff to safety under she the T4 Towers and then glimpsed back. Four staff three times and she got glimpsed back towards the freezing field. That was incredible. That disruptor could have just won Maneski the game. Not to, Maneski were ahead regardless, but that one play there could have just sealed the deal. I think the MVP for this match is definitely the Bimboker. Yeah. And the clock work. Both of the Jesse Vash and Jesse did. Vash to me is the MVP of this tournament. He has played better than anyone on this Maneski team. He's been by far the most consistent and He's just been such a solid addition to Mineski's yeah, team. Yeah, I think Jesse Vaz, overall in the whole tournament, is the best player of Mineski. Yeah. The one who performed the most consistently over the whole course of the tournament. Each game, he probably doesn't always have the best kill, most kills and best item choices, but he did the most for his team, and he did whatever the, as a position tree, create space for the two carries to farm yeah. up, and made a lot of plays. This game, he got a solo kill on the Prophet in the laning phase. Well, Mineski... It's it's looking good for them here. They've had, I mean, it's it's, it's been different players ne stepping up each necro game. book on the Invoker. Oh, th that's going to help you end the game, it looks like. That's like, I'm just going to finish you right now. Yeah. Veil of Discord on the Disruptor. Look how far like a support Disruptor is. Ghost Scepter, Veil, Necrobook coming out on the Invoker. Also saving for buyback, so not you looking to spend all of his gold here. Yeah, the Luna has to get the Reaver. Uh -oh. She doesn't have buyback now. She has 3,200 gold and there's no point saving for buyback anymore. Well, it's it's the Jays. Jules, Joven, Jesse Vash and a lot of them just destroying right now. Jay as well, just on that invoker being beastly. Titan is just, not, just going to slow down the in inevitable end where they're just going to be destroyed. This yeah. fight... The Mineski Luna can even wait for Roshan if they want to. Yeah. It's... Well, the, the Pinois are really feeling confident right now. Yeah. I, I gotta say, the, the crowd here, it's a bit quieter now, but they're feeling confident. Oh, they think that so we got four stuff Oh, in Hex as well, he's got buyback. Oh, Eclipse, stun. Oh, oh they're, they're gonna bring He can buyback time lapse. Time lapse in. He's back in the fight in a second if he time lapses. Oh, yes, he, oh. yes, he time lapses in. He's back in. Titan have got to keep this Luna alive. Luna oh, gets hexed the, up. Oh, the Weaver dies down. again. The Weaver buyback. dies twice. Weaver dead twice. Luna going to buy back. Prophet buys back. This is it for Titan. They've got a hold. They've got two Raxes left to protect. Night Stalker forced back. Oh. But two buybacks. Nature's Prophet and Luna both forced to buy oh, back. Prophet is going to TP behind enemy lines right now. Titan have got to get more. I think they need to kill a lot more heroes here. They haven't done so just yet. Oh, the Prophet. I think the Prophet actually caught out someone behind. Whoa! Titan taking a lot of damage here. Okay, Maneski get out. Oh, like you said, Joven on the Weaver. He got. Gonna, they're just gonna wait for the next Roshan. Yeah, wait for Ro Roshan respawning. Into Can Titan get Roshan though? Look at the Luna. The Luna hasn't bought. Uh -oh. oh, Prophet. That's. He just bought back. He just bought back. He's dead for 90 seconds. They're gonna push. They're gonna just push right now. Well, do they wait for for Weaver or not? They've got uh, the Necrobooks. They may just see... If they scout Roshan, I think they go for Rosh. Well. Oh, Roshan is up. Yeah. Maneski, I don't think they've seen it just yet. They'll see it soon. There we go. They found that one out. Titan, do they actually go... Can they actually deal with this? I don't, it doesn't feel like they can. I don't, I don't think Titan can stop this Roshan. Luna needs another item. I feel like at this point, it's like, you've got to go big. You've got to go for that Divine Rapier or something. Because apart from that, I, I don't see I Titan winning this game. I think he needs a Satanic first. Yeah, She's maybe. He's not tanky enough. It's just so desperate, this position for Titan. Down four Raxes, and now about to give up an Aegis as well as Cheese. With Aegis and Cheese on Mineski's side, it, could be, it should be all over for Titan. Yeah, it definitely is. This is just basically 
the last piece of the puzzle Mineski need to end this game. Well, ages on the clockwork. Jesse Vash, he's he, often been that initiator. He, he needs de it. He deserves more than the Aegis God. He maybe deserves a cheese. He deserves to be the one holding up the Divine Rapier at the end yeah. of this game. He's, he's done fantastic throughout this tournament. And he actually, he was actually quite, it was actually quite surprising to, to me that he was the one actually performing the most. I was actually expecting players like Jay, yeah. or even Jules to perform much better, but it was actually their position three player performing the yeah. best in this event. I remember when this like roster was somewhat first announced and people asked me like, oh, how good a Maneski? I'm like, oh, they've got some really good like solo players like Joven and Jay, but Jesse Vash, I'm not so sure about, but he's definitely proven he, he's he made, the most deserving he to made be here. It clear that he's one of the players that's going to be stepping up yeah. during a big event. Yeah, Maneski really need him on this team. He Having that just stable player there has been so crucial for them. And now we look towards, well, bottom lane being seized. Once again, no buyback on the Weaver, though, so Weaver needs to be Here very careful. Here comes the Invoker Tornado. Doesn't, doesn't land, doesn't really matter. Even your Crystal Maiden, BKB, four stuff, Ghost Scepter, all the items being picked up for Mineski in the world. Uh, they can't push out the lanes. They're just it's, it's nasty. Tier 3 tower going to go down now. Next up, Braxis. Wow. They're, they're just waiting. You know, this situation looks very familiar to me. I remember being in this situation as well against Mineski, where I'm stuck ah. in the base. Two sides of, two lanes of Rex down. Split and push I, all over. Yeah. Well. And we were just stopping the in inevitable, and we still lose the game, like, in yeah. <laughs> 10 minutes. Well, Mineski may want to wait for some buybacks to come back up on the Weaver, but nope, they're going in. They want the Rax. His Gloop gets forced out. Titan just has to engage. They can't go down Mega Creeps here. Net looking to Shikuchi in and find someone. Going to maybe find the Crystal Maiden. Not going to happen. Kinetic build, the Thunderdome zoning out anyone from chasing Tornado catches out less wreck here. Chaos oh, to follow this up. Chaos. Four staffs are there. Here comes the Weaver. Oh, BKB. they've caught out the Invoker. He's gonna maybe go down fast. Oh, Invoker got, went down. Buyback immediately. Buy They're gonna lose more, maybe. It's gonna be the Luna on the front lines. Ohio goes Freezing down. Kill and the ultimate. There's no Luna. There's no buyback. There's no Night Talker. That is gonna be GG. GG. Maneski are your champions. GMPGL. $5,000. They are your champions here. What a tournament. Woo. What a great couple of days it's been. The crowd here is loving it. Maneski are celebrating. Everyone is just loving this winter. Yeah, it was a, it was a really fantastic tournament for yeah. Maneski. Well, a big thanks to everyone for tuning in on the live stream, guys. We're going to shut this down. There's a celebration going on, so you guys can tune in for the awards ceremony. But Big thanks to everyone who tuned in. Be sure to follow Beyond the Summit as well as myself and Winter. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, it has been really a lot of fun. And it's, yeah. it's a really enjoyable first time casting a live event for me. And I'm going to be looking forward for more opportunities cool. like this. <laughs> we'll hopefully be back next year, guys. Everyone tuning on the live stream, thank you. We're going to be tuning out over to the live ceremony. See you guys next good, time. Good night, guys. Bye. Thank you so much. One more time, Minus K. Here we go. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, one second, one second. Okay. A round of applause for the Titans, ladies and gentlemen. Give a round of applause to the Titans. Thank you so 